We treat our audiences often disrespectfully. We treat them as props. We use jokes that weren't funny 50 years ago. And I can't blame an audience member for when they're hearing, oh, we have a magician, thinking, oh God, not one of those. The extraordinary accomplishment of the magicians of the 20th century is that they managed to take something that is inherently profound and render it trivial. Magic is tremendously important. Sometimes even bad magic really gives the feeling that of surprise. All performing, all art is like being seen in the proper light. Magic is uh, whatever science says is impossible. I can change how people see the world and how they interact with the world. Everything is possible and, and what can be better than that? You love magic, you love people, it is a secret. You can pay me no amount of money that can replace that feeling that I get causing a miracle to happen. I want it to be at that level that they have no other answer than it has to be magic. How could he do that? It's what the magician, the performer, brings to the table that makes that thing work. A window, an opportunity to do something that I could have never done before. Magic is one big family, but it's a really dysfunctional one. It's easy to make fun of magicians, and I'm not sure that that's completely, you know, undeserved. The community of magic is like a community of children. If you've ever been someone that's felt different or in any way not accepted, magic is this amazing safe haven. Life, isn't it? Life. You know, I mean, I think at its most basic, magic is like, I just fooled you, bitch. <laughs> you can't possibly expect to understand how it works because you know where a trap door is. The secret of magic is not how do I get the ball under the cup. The secret to magic is how do I make this room full of people care. Those that know don't tell and those that tell don't know. Blue pill, red pill. Magic saved my life. Did it? Yes. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah.